Hi Leo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment. Um, just want to mention for those of you who are new to the channel everything you need to know is in the description box details regarding uh how to win a free personal reading with me uh personal readings i have on hold right now but i will uh announce once i open them up i am booked this week so probably next week uh depending on when you see this video uh so with that we're going to do uh what is this person's uh true of feelings for you uh, there will be an extended uh, reading link in the description box uh, where I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading I treat it like um, a personal reading and I'll dive deeper into the person so with that uh, let's get started let me just cut the deck here and then uh, we're going to pull your energy your person's energy and we'll get uh, the potential of the connection and i'll clarify what's needed thank you spirit and angels for your guidance what other messages do you have or what messages do you have for leo let's get leo's energy please please show me leo's energy okay yeah so what I'm definitely picking up here, Leo, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the Hermit. You're, it definitely feels like you're kind of reflecting here. Is this a situation that could work? Some of you may be feeling like the effort is unbalanced between you and this person. There's definitely something here that is feeling unbalanced to you. And I see you doing a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching here. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. So I get the energy, uh, Leo, that, uh, you know, you feel like, you know, should I or shouldn't I? Should I continue to put ever effort into this connection? We do have the devil on the bottom of the deck, a uh, strong Capricorn energy. So this could be um, someone where maybe you are feeling there is something toxic um, or there's some sort of behavior that your person is doing that you are not liking at this time. That's what the energy I'm picking up here. Okay. Um, let's see what's in your person's energy thank you spirit and angels for your guidance what is in leo's person's energy and then later we will ask what are their true feelings here but let's get a uh, leo's person's true or not their true their energy here okay interesting all right well bottom of the deck here we do have the knight of swords in this deck for me this is like a runner energy um it does feel like something this person may be feeling like something's not working there's definitely an energy here of instability with the tower card uh, you got the three of wands here as well so this could be someone thinking about the future I'm just going to say this could be somebody, uh, maybe they have other options here, right? Could be a fire sign in Aries, um, a Leo or Sagittarius. We also have here Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, okay? Queen of Pentacles here. There's something here about this person is not too sure um, about making some sort of offer here, okay? It's definitely... Um, instability here three of wands here is telling me that this person here is thinking about you know the possibility here of commitment or things being stable they're not feeling things are stable and you're not feeling things are stable it could be an indication that something happened okay something unexpected happened we're going to clarify that energy as well let's get the mutual energy here between leo and this person what's the mutual energy between leo and this person Okay, a lot of chemistry there with the lovers, Gemini energy, a lot of chemistry, magnetic, the wheel does feel like there was, um, there was fate involved here. We have the three of pentacles, 
and we have judgment. And bottom of the deck here, we do have the Ten of Swords and we have the Ace of Cups. Okay, a lot of you, this feels like there could have been, you know, some sort of argument. There could have been a breakup here or something unexpected happened that may have caused some hurt here. You do have the Temperance Sagittarius energy. So this could be someone where... Uh, it's been there's been some time or there's been some distance here I do feel what I'm seeing in this energy with the mutual energy that there is potential here for you and this person to have an oppor another opportunity with each other if that's what you want I feel like you're on the fence whether you know you want this person back in your life or not um, I do feel like this person holds a special place in their heart for you is what really that is showing me there. So let's uh, look at this energy. Okay, again, I feel like you and this person, I do feel like there could be something faded about how the two of you met um, or, you know, you feel like a faded connection between this person. I do feel there's a lot of chemistry here. There's love. You do have uh, Three of Pentacles and the Judgment. Again, showing me that there is potential here for you and this person to come together. So let's do some clarifying, um, you know, and then we will get into their true feelings. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. Tell me more about why Leo is on the fence here about this person. Okay, this Two of Pentacles energy. Okay, we got the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and Justice. Okay. And bottom of the deck here, we have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Six of Cups. Now, I'm going to say for some of you, there could have been a third party situation um, here, okay, with the Justice and the Hierophant here. You know, you may be feeling like something happened that was not fair to you. Your higher self may be telling you this, and that's why you may be going back and forth here. Okay, so you're basically on the fence whether you want things to work. I feel what is hard for you, Leo, is that you feel a very strong connection with this person. And I do feel like there is mutual love here between you and this person. Some of you, this could be somebody that you, um, you know, divorced or are in legal separation. And so this could be someone here who still wants to work on this connection and you're, and you're not too sure, okay? Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this tower. Yeah, look at that. Judgment. Judgment, and we also have here the Knight of Cups. So it feels like, Leo, there was something that was not working here between you and this person, something that maybe once was stable or once was uh, a situation that you and this person were working towards um, a committed relationship, or maybe some of you were. But I feel with the judgment here and the Knight of Cups in your person's energy, I do feel like they still have feelings for you. I do feel like this is someone who uh, wants the romantic opportunity with you. But right now, right, they're making a decision. Now, it could be, too, they're having to, um, I don't know why I heard that. <laughs> I heard a tone for their sins. I don't know why I heard that. I've never heard that in a reading before. But maybe they did something in the past, and they know that they have to make things right in order to have that opportunity with you. Let's clarify on this Three of Wands. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords. It does feel like there was a betrayal or an ending here with you and this person. And we also have here the Chariot. Okay. I feel like this person is struggling from moving on from you. Okay. Got the Queen of Pentacles here, which we have the Queen of Pentacles here too. This is someone who is struggling to move on because I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, they see your value, okay? They see your worth here is what I'm seeing, okay? Because this is someone wanting to work on things. Some of you could even have children with this person too, or, you know, there could be, 
you know, children involved in your situation, all right? So tell me um, more about, we're going to get into now their true feelings. What is this person's true feelings for Leo? What is this person's true feelings for Leo? Okay, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Okay. They're still very much very attached to you. They're attracted to you here. Um, I see them planning okay, some sort of decision here. Page of Swords. They're not sharing it with you. They're being a little bit distant, aloof right now. Six of Wands, but they're hoping for a victory. Okay, They're hoping for a victory here is what I see. The Hangman. The four of wands okay could be that they're seeing things from a different perspective four of cups they're not too sure if the opportunity is there or not with you and the magician they want to make things happen okay yeah i feel like there's distance and separation here between you and this person right now i do feel like this is someone who is kind of um they're kind of strategizing here, okay? There's definitely a decision. This may be somebody who is, um, you know, I feel like they're planning. They're thinking about the future here. They're definitely thinking about you, Leo. I feel like that's your energy there with the Nine of Pentacles. They're very attracted to your energy as that's what that shows me here. You also have here um, the Six of Wands, the Hangman, and the Four of Wands. Okay, I feel like, you know, for me, the hangman can also be about a release of karma. So there may be something here in the past that they have to make right before they're ready here to come forward towards you. But this is someone I feel they're starting to see things differently than maybe they did in the past. They're wanting success here. They're wanting stability with you, uh, Leo. And then we also have here the four of cups and the magician. This is someone I feel they're trying to manifest the opportunity with you. I do feel like they're hesitant. This could be someone who is stubborn, uh, but I feel like they may feel, uh, you know, they could feel they're missing an opportunity with you, or they could feel like you could reject them is the energy that I get there. Okay. So um, let's pull some love oracles and see what else comes out here, Leo. Thank you, spirit and angels, for your guidance. What can you share with Leo? What does Leo need to know? All right, the dragonfly. Okay. So I feel like there, that there is going to be some sort of change here. Something's going to come to light. Um, I feel like, you know, it, it may be that this tower moment maybe the truth came out about something in this connection whether you know involved other people or it didn't um i feel like too there's something here about some sort of change some sort of transformation and things coming to light okay it's also a be a light-hearted energy we also have here, yeah, coffee cup. This person is going to meet up with you. Maybe that's why this energy is here. This person's going to meet up with you or if you want them to, okay, there's going to be some sort of conversation upcoming between you and this person. This person may even ask to meet for a drink here. Okay, this is someone I feel they're going to come towards you feeling quite uplifted here. It's a light conversation though. It doesn't feel like it's going to be anything deep, all right? You also have your uh, boat, okay? So this is telling me this is going to be an opportunity for you and this person to talk. Um, you know, maybe some things coming to light here and making some progress where things can go in a better direction. Let's get one more card here for you, Leo. The golden mirror here. Okay, so this could be someone where it was a one-sided relationship here. <laughs> Okay, that could be the energy of why, um, you know, things didn't work out here. Okay, and so I feel like this could be someone who had to look themselves in the mirror, right? Um, think about the future here. Okay, make something right in the past. Okay, this can also talk about, you know, spiritual growth and spiritual lessons. So I feel like you've got somebody here that... Um, 
Um, I feel like maybe it it's on them for what has happened here. So let's see uh, what the yin yang oracles have to say. What can you share with Leo? Okay, yeah, illusions. There's something going to be revealed here, uh, Leo, to you. Some sort of truth, maybe something that you felt very confused about. Um, you know, you. I'm just going to say you could find out that this person has addictions. That's not going to be everybody. Um, but let's see what else we have here. Okay, yeah. This is a loss. This can talk about rejection here, okay? I feel like this. there's something here this person did not give you clarity with, Leo, that made you feel rejected or wounded, okay? So that's what I feel like is going to be cleared up here. There's something um, I feel that is going to come to light for you. Okay, we have nurture here, okay? So... This can be a nurturing energy, a protective energy. So you may see that this person comes, you know, there may be something different about this person when they come towards you. Maybe they will be more compassionate than they were in the past. This is a love energy. This is a very loving energy, okay? Sincere feelings. So that could be too what's coming to light, that this person does have sincere feelings for you, Leo. Oh, look at that. I told you fate. Here is fate again. Fate and fortune. This is the Wheel of Fortune energy. This can talk about karma. I talked about karma here too. Divine intervention. Okay. The, the Tower card is also divine intervention. So this may have happened for a reason. You know, there could be several reasons. This could be that this is someone who needed to go through some personal growth, right? To be ready for a relationship. This could be someone who didn't know how to deal with their feelings. You know, I think we saw the runner energy in the beginning of the reading. This could be someone who ran from their feelings for you. But this happened for a reason and fate is bringing the two of you back together. There's an opportunity for you and this person to revisit this connection. Some of you, it could just be, right, some of you could, you know, have a, have a family or have children or children involved. But this is the four of wands energy. Energy. So this is telling me, Leo, there is an opportunity for you and this person to be together, okay, as a family, um, even marriage here, okay, but uh, it, it's an opportunity to rebuild a foundation, okay, with that tower card. So, Leo, I'm going to take it to the extended. The link is in the description box. We're going to see how this plays out. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel light.